Uh, good afternoon everyone. Uh, I'm just out here in our turnip field and I'm just giving a, a piece quickly for our dry herd. We've already been feeding them for about a week on the turnips. Um, it took them a few days to get used to it, um, but now they're eating it pretty, pretty well. As you can see, I mean they've they eating it. They're eating the whole entire thing. They're eating the the bulb, the leaves, the whole lot. And what I'm doing is basically I just give them a about a meter. Um, I just move this poly wire about a meter forward. So basically, their their uh, their heads and their front feet. You know, if they have their front feet about here, they'll be able to eat nicely. And I wait for them to graze it right down till about like this, which you guys see here, this last meter. I let them graze it down to about like this, and then uh, I move it a, a another meter. That way they don't tramp too much of the uh, the turnips with their hooves. So I'll just stick it in about there. So there's so many flies here. So just move it about a meter and they they're picking it up quite well there's some pretty nice looking turnips here like if you look at that one I'd say that's about the average size of the field that the turnips are um, and the cows are chowing them like here's one that you can see that, that a cow the cows left that it she bit there's another one that's been left these, these are obviously ones that have gotten a bit dirty and the cows don't want to bite them But like I said, I'm grazing my dry herd on this stuff. Um, what they are doing, I had them following my milk herd, but I've since taken them off of uh, the pasture behind the milk herd because um, I want to relieve the pressure a bit on the pastures because um, we're going into colder sort of months and it's a, bit, it's a bit dry. We haven't had rain in a while. So what I'm doing is um, I've got my dry herd getting here. They actually come in now. They're getting um, a bit of turnips um, during the night or during the afternoon and early morning and they actually sleep here through the night so they, I'll give them a little piece and then I'll give them a little, another half uh, or about a meter you know just before it gets dark and then they can lay here and they can sleep here and then um, during the day like where they've just come from now is they came from my feed pad and they're getting a, a TMR ration over there and then they just coming here and finishing up uh, or spending the night on the turnips so and they quite like the turnips look at them so this seems to be working really well um, for more than one reason is it's getting rid of that horrible wild summer grass that grows here that we sprayed dead here you can still see some of it that's dead over here but if you look behind it's where the cars have been there's nothing left i mean it's just bare soil it's a beautiful seed bed we're going to plant uh, probably probably an annual rye in here um mixed with maybe a bit of clover and stuff and it's it should come out very nicely we've got a lovely seed bed we haven't you know worked the soil or anything like that all i've done is basically sprayed out the grass put in a crop of turnips and i've managed to feed my cows you know a lot of turnips there's i've got eight hectares this field is eight hectares and it's probably you know if i look at this the amount of feed yeah in, in dry matter so if you were to take out all the moisture in dry matter i'd say there's about three to three and a half maybe four tons to the hectare um, and i haven't used not one grain of fer fertilizer or we haven't sprayed this not once this was all grown without any fertilizer so i do think it's looking quite good and what what I want to do is come back when they've actually, after about 45 minutes, when they've grazed off all the, the leaves. And then hopefully I'll be able to show you guys how they eat the, the bulbs.
Check this one. That's quite a nice big one. There are cows that are bite there. Weed, we get quite a lot of this shit. So if you look at one of these plants, that's what you're getting. From one of those tiny little seeds, I mean this, to, to plant this whole field we didn't even use a whole 25 kg bag of seed. We used about two thirds of a 25 kg bag of seed. And uh, the amount of food that that one bag has produced is just unreal. I mean, if you look at that, that's from one tiny little seed that's the size of a clover seed or lucerne or alf alfalfa seed. Unreal. Check it out, she's now busy with a bulb. See there. The cows like them, they really do. Did you say girls are good? Huh? They're good. Cows seem to dig it. So I'm, I'll probably show you guys a bit once they've charred a bit of this leaf off and uh, see how it looks then. Okay guys, so it's been about two hours since I did that last video or since I did the first half of this video, let's put it that way. Um, I, I gave him that meat at about three o'clock, it's now about five, uh, five o'clock or maybe just off the five and you can see they've charred that strip pretty clean he has a piece of turnip that's been charred you can see it literally like charred all. it's just that bottom piece left and most of them are completely eaten there isn't anything left So what I'm going to do is just give these cows another piece. What's that? What you got there, huh? Got a nice big one, eh? Yes, like. Check the size of this hokey. Yeah, there's a mammoth of a turnip. Holy smokes. Yeah. Finish what you started. Oh, more of this crap. To get soil out. stuff out before it makes seed so what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna stop I'm gonna start to cut it this way um, as soon as I get a metal stake that I can drive in there to wrap this poly wire on and to take it up that way I'm gonna start to cut like this and then work that way and then what I'll do is I'll start to as soon as we get a gap opened up like this 
a gap open up that way so we can basically instead of using the cows to get water from this drinking trough we can get it from the next one and I, then I can come in and plant start to plant an annual rye into this piece and then I'll just leave a permanent poly wire there so the cows can't get back onto it but it'll give me a few days extra food if you know what I mean because it's a few days earlier that I'll be able to plant than the rest of the stuff so this handle shocks yeah there's some big turnips here eh? yeah. And like I said, this was a kg and a kg, kg to a kg and a half per hectare that we planted here. You don't want to plant too much, otherwise the competition is too too hectic among the turnips and they don't get to their full size. And he has that piece where we replanted the turnips. You can see how it's, it's quite a bit, it's not as mature as the other stuff. Up until that stripe over there. So this is a great way of feeding your dry cows, it's cheap. Um, it's getting rid of that horrible summer grass. So, I'm pretty happy with this method. At the moment there's uh, just just underneath 100, just a bit less than 100 cows in this group. Um, but this group is growing fast. We're drying off about 15, between 10 and 20 cows a day. Around about 15 cows a day out of the milk herd. Um, those are all cows that are within two months to calving or less than two months to calving so they get dried off for 60 days um, and they're all coming over to this group so my milk herd is actually getting smaller every day and this herd is getting bigger every day but that's that's better because I don't have to feed this herd the as good a quality feed because they're not producing milk so it'll save me a bit on the um, on the pastures because my pastures are kind of struggling and I need to build I need to build grass on those pasture fields um, before the cows calve so I gotta get bulk bulk food on the pastures or bulk grass on the pastures in the next two months and it's gonna be difficult because you can see it's already five o'clock and the sun's already behind the mountain and the same thing in the morning the sun sits behind those mountains the sun goes along that direction and then boom it goes behind that mound so we don't actually have much sunlight to grow good grass this time of the year um, so that's the whole key is to get enough grass on the pastures before the cows calve so that when they do calve I'll have quality you know good quality grass to feed them um, so this should help me feed the cows through probably the first month of the dry period, the one of the two months. Um, we'll start calving probably mid-July. Yeah, close, to, I'll say mid-July somewhere, the cows will start to calve. Um, we've got over 400 that are gonna calve. And um, I've got this to feed them, and then hopefully, you know, when we're about halfway through this field, I'm hoping to start getting grass off of our higher ground and bringing bales back from that side to feed the cows um, and to help me build more bulk on the pastures. So that's the plan. Um, yeah. And then you just keep feeding these dry cows turnips every day. And their TMR mix that they get. Their TMR mix is basically at this point, there's not much in it, it's just sorghum silage. Um, the kgs is 3.5 kgs of dry matter sorghum silage that would be about just oh I'm not sure times it by um, 
1.35 and that'll be your your wet if I'm not mistaken um, and then they're getting so they're getting 3.5 kgs of, of sorghum silage dry matter and then they're getting uh, 4.5 kgs of hominy chop which we're mixing in the feed wagon that's their TMR mix and I'm hoping to add some rye grass and oats bales in there when we start to get the cuts off of the higher ground and then here I'm, guess, I'm guessing they're getting about a kg and a half to two kgs of dry matter here and turnips so they they look they're looking a lot better actually the last week about a week ago they weren't looking so good these cows they were looking a little bit skinny they lost some condition and so did my milk herd um, but now they've started since I've had them on these turnips they seem to be picking up quite nicely so that's that um, yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon yeah Whoa, 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 stop the one, stop the one. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Okay, 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 copy. Whoa, suck, 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 suck. Okay, laddie, lost, 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 lost. Suck, suck. Suck, suck, suck. I say, whoa.